I went to the grocery store and there were zero eggs at Costco. Zero. They had a sign that said that due to a nationwide shortage, they had no eggs. And I was shocked. So we've had chickens since October of 2020 and we've learned a bit about raising them. And I know a lot of people now are thinking with all of this egg shortage, hey, let's get chickens. We've always thought about it. We want to grow our own hens and have our own egg source. And I just wanted to talk about timeline because it's not as simple as going to the farm store, buying some chicks and getting eggs the next day. It's quite a process. So you buy your baby chicks. They're so cute for about a week. And then they start growing feathers and they look scrawny and ugly. And you have to keep them inside your house for six weeks at least. If you were to buy them right now, in the middle of winter, you'd probably need to keep them inside your house for longer because you can't just take them from a warm home to 12 degrees outside. So you need to plan on that. You need to raising, be, plan on raising your baby chicks indoors and having them smell up the house. You gotta take care of them, clean them, and um, feed them every day and clean up their poop, <clears throat> which is just so smelly. Um, anyway, so Getting baby chicks is the first part. That's a lot of fun for the first week, and then it's a lot of work for another two months. And then, in that meantime, or maybe before you even buy your baby chicks, you've got to build a chicken coop or buy a chicken coop, which could cost anywhere from a cheap $300 coop to $1,200. We did our coop ourselves. Not trying to be fancy, just practical, and I think we spent about $850 on our materials for our coop using hardware cloth and um, treated lumber, and um, it's big enough for about six to eight chickens. So just, just know what you're getting into here. You've got to build your coop within that six weeks to two months that they're living inside your house, or else you can't get them outside. <laughs> and then... After you transition them to their outdoor coop and living outside, it takes another four to six months before they start laying eggs. Okay, so you're about six to eight months in. You're at least a thousand dollars in with the coop, all the supplies, feed, and then you get your first egg. Let me tell you, that first egg is miraculous. It's like the most exciting day of your life. It's so cool to get your first egg. And then you have to continue to take, take care and feed for these care and buy feed for these chickens. Sometimes they have issues like infections and lice and mites and bumblefoot and stuff. And you need to prepare, be prepared to take all of that on if you're going to become a chicken family. So I think it's just important that you know what you're getting into if you say, oh my gosh, eggs are so expensive, or we can't get eggs at the grocery store, let's get chickens. Like, it's a big investment, it's really rewarding, after six to eight months, and then what happens? After they start laying, they're fairly prolific at the beginning when they're young layers. They lay every day or every other day. Throughout the summertime when the days are long and they get lots of light, Mm, but it takes about 22 hours of daylight to make an egg. So it's not every single day that they lay. It really depends on how many hours of light they get. And then um, this fall, randomly, our, our chickens started uh, molting, which is where they lost their feathers. And two of our birds haven't laid since. So they're not that old yet. I don't think they're done laying, but they haven't laid since like October. And now it's February. So it's been like like four months that we haven't got a single egg from our two oldest hens and um, they don't lay very prolifically in the winter time because they don't have enough light to do so um, so anyway I just kind of wanted to give you a rundown feel free to look at all of my other chicken videos I talk a lot about having backyard chickens we live here in the city and we have uh, five hens currently we've had as many as eight um, and it's it's wonderful it's an adventure, it's a learning experience, but it is very expensive and it's a big investment of both time, resources, money, and 
you have to be really committed and dedicated if you're going to do this. And just know what you're getting yourself in for if you decide you want to get cute little baby chicks so that you don't have to buy eggs at the grocery store. So, good luck! Ask me your questions. I know so much now about chickens having had them for three years now. <laughs>